Nobody likes to be unsuccessful. We all are uh, coming on a hunt, you know, with the goal of harvesting an animal. I mean, there's a lot of other things that go along with hunting that's awesome. This, this trip was crazy. I mean, we had deer let us walk to them at 28 yards. They went behind a tree, couldn't see us, didn't care, wasn't nervous, feed, whatever. We had turkeys next to us. We had a squirrel come and try to gnaw on Chris's boot. Birds, bear, uh, you name it. Just lots of cool stuff. But we all like to be successful in harvesting an animal. We're not successful in this hunt. We're not gonna kill an animal. It's not a total waste. There's a lot of things that you learn, you know, when going on hunts, whether you're successful or not. When you're successful, yeah, you, you get to have the confidence of drawing a bow, picking a spot, killing that animal. Um, but you still have all those experiences leading up to the harvest when you're out in the field, even if you're not successful. So you continue to learn about the animal. You learn the country, you learn water, you learn all kinds of stuff. When we watched a bull move his cows from, you know, several miles over here to over here to whatever, and then just the whole interaction of when they're bugling, why they're not bugling, watching other bulls bugle, and then the bull with the cows listens, but doesn't bugle. They come into water, they run into water. Um, you know, some are cautious, but a lot of times they're not. Just all of those things are in your head and help you learn about the game, whatever it is, deer, elk, antelope, whatever you're hunting. So, you know, yeah, we're unsuccessful. Is there things that I'd do different next year if I drew the same tag? Probably. But I learned a ton and you can't take that from me. You can get everything stripped of you in life, material-wise. You can declare bankruptcy, lose everything, but you can't lose knowledge. And, and I think about that all the time. It's just as you're going through life, you're going through hunts, you have your knowledge. Nobody can take that from you no matter what. And this just adds on the other 100 elk experiences or hunts or whatever, 150, I don't know, in the past and it just all culminates and makes you a better hunter and you know this particular hunt was different than a lot of hunts it's 90 degrees they're not rutting we 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 came in here with zero bugling three days into it started bugling today they're dead again there's just a lot that goes into it um we were in a spring over here and you wouldn't think it's getting hit at all we're over there brushing our teeth doing whatever not even worried about scent that's the last place an elk would be. And dude, we're up there glassing and these elk are coming around us and watering at this spring. Well, we couldn't tell because there's no tracks because it's all kind of really hard rock. And so we have no idea how hard that spring was getting hit. Uh, if I had to do it again, I'd bring a little lightweight little trail camera and check it every day. Anyway, there's just so much you can learn. There's dynamics on every unit every state, every hunt like that. You can't really put your finger on it. You can't wrap your arms around a hunt or what to apply for or all of these different things uh, without being there. You can do quite a bit of phone work. You can do quite a bit of visiting with people and biologists and whatnot, but it's nothing compared to experiencing it. Having said that, next year you come in here, be 10, 20 degrees cooler, whatever, different moon phase, Boom, off the charts, bugling, crazy, you're a hero. Never a bad thing to go on a hunt. Not so fun not to be successful, but it's not necessarily the end of the world. Because knowledge all comes together, and as you get older, you're more effective. I think about some of the tags that I've wasted, including this tag, but I think about some of the tags I've wasted. Wasted meaning eight, unsuccessful on. And what I'd give to have those tags back, I'd give anything. I mean, I've had Nevada tags that are off the charts. I've had a Colorado Eastern Plains Pinion Canyon 142 tag, should have killed a 215 buck. Um, I mean, just, but I just wasn't capable, you know, and all these unsuccessful experiences help you become a more successful hunter. You, there's no, you can't put a price. Yeah, I wasted some money on this hunt. You could say that. 
but you can't put a price on what we gain, what we're coming out of it. We're out here, I'm seeing mule deer with cheaters and inline and mass and eye guards and, and then coos deer. And I'm glassing up coos bucks. I'd love to know how big the coos bucks were that I glassed up. So much is gained and you can't put your finger on all of it. I'm even missing another hour worth of stuff. I mean, there's just so much is gained on every hunt that you go on. And uh, it shapes you into the hunter that you are and, and whatnot. So although it's terrible, we're unsuccessful, and the, and the hunt was a complete waste, we gained a lot from it and it'll definitely help us be successful in the future.